I had to make a video on print on demand, astronomical prices, but not just that, but the entire print on demand industry as a whole. I hope this video is well received, but it's been a long time coming and I really, really think the truth needs to actually come out. You can't handle the truth. Firstly, before we get started, please consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. I would really, really appreciate it. And as well as that, if you could share the video, then hopefully everyone can see it or like the video so that more people can see it because the idea behind this video is that as many people as possible can see it because I really wanted to expose this theory, this idea about the whole print on demand industry. In front of me, I have three packages. One from Teespring, which is quite a famous print on demand company. One from Calvin Klein, which is quite a famous fashion company. And one from Vista Print, which is a very famous printing company. Now, here are the three prices. Every single package has a t-shirt inside of it, okay? And as you can see, the prices should be floating about up here. So I'm going to be splitting this video into five categories. Category one is presentation of, you know, the packaging. Category two is the t-shirt quality. Category three is pricing. Category four is customer service. And category five is alternative ways to have a t-shirt business or print on demand business and succeed. Now, before continuing, let me tell you what actually inspired this video. Well, I ordered a bunch of your Teespring products and one of them was this t-shirt. This cost 25 pounds and 39 pence. And after seeing it come in this, the type of bag that I actually have hundreds of because they're cheap crap, right? After seeing that, I thought to myself, you know, this doesn't feel right, it's expensive, and I didn't expect this kind of quality. So I did some digging into print on demand. It is a Jacques Hammer. Oh. <laughs> As a whole, and that's what actually led to this video. I learned a lot of things about every aspect of the print on demand industry, and I just thought I would share it with you. These could be the reason you struggle to sell any print on demand. It could be the reason, you know, maybe you do sell and you get lots of refunds. It could be the reason for bad customer service. There's so many different factors that, you know, so many different uh, things this could be affecting. So let me quickly explain the backstory of these three packages. The, the Teespring one came when I did that video buying your Teespring products. After this came, I thought, you know what, I wanna make a comparison video. So I ordered the Calvin Klein one, and then another idea came to mind. So that is what led me to order this one. This one is a special package. I'm going to open this right at the end for you. I don't wanna ruin it, but that is the backstory of these three packages. Let's get started straight away with presentation. Starting with Teespring. Teespring's presentation of packaging is pretty awful, as I said before. It comes in this thin plasticky, kind of rubbishy plasticiness. And the worst thing about this is a lot of the time, People buy stuff on Teespring as gifts. They're very gimmicky gift kind of products. And this is not really gift material. This is not gift quality, right? Moving on to the next. This is Calvin Klein. Remember, all of these cost pretty much the same price. Calvin Klein comes in this very nice looking box. You know, that is pretty solid quality box just for a t-shirt. And finally, the Vistaprint also comes in slightly larger but thinner box, but again, a good quality box, okay? You can see that this is going to be a much higher quality just from the offset, which gives me a lot more confidence when, you know, opening the product for the next step. So the next category we're gonna be discussing is t-shirt quality. So let's start by opening the Teespring one, okay? Let's have a look at t-shirt quality. Now this is not the basic tee, this is the more expensive, oh, I forgot what it was called, it'll be on the screen, but this is the more expensive quality t-shirts let's have a look it's the nope there are no labels that is a great start so it smells funky this is the t-shirt in question it's quite a cute t-shirt isn't it okay this is the t-shirt in question in terms of quality obviously you were able to see this it's just me being able to feel this to see it there are no labels so it's i guess an unbranded shirt there is also, is there anything yeah here we go it is made from 100% organic cotton, it's Stanley. I guess there is a label down here. Um, the quality is quite nice, it's a bit see-through, but then again, that's because it's white. Um, the print on it is very good, the quality is very good. The, the it's, it's pretty good, not gonna lie. It's For £25.39, it's 
not good enough, but as t-shirts go, it's pretty good. And by the way, this is a small. That does not feel small. That feels very large. Okay, moving on. Let's open up the Calvin Klein one. Now, I know one thing you have to understand is this is more of a gimmicky, picturey kind of t-shirt. This is more just of a branded t-shirt. A lot of people don't care about branded t-shirts. They want to go for this gimmicky one. The idea, how the hell do you open this? The idea here is that you want to try and combine the quality of Calvin Klein, well not necessarily Calvin Klein, but the quality of a Calvin Klein type t-shirt with the gimmicky kind of uh, design on the front. And that way you have the best of both worlds. You have design and you have good quality. Right, oh wow, this is, comes in tissue paper. And then a further plastic bag. Oh, this looks like quite good quality, actually. <laughs> right, let's open this. Long material. Right. You can't really compare this quality. This is ridiculously soft. It's a bit stretchy. It feels nicer. The logo's on it a bit nicer. Um, I mean, I knew this was coming because obviously Calvin Klein's going to be better than Teespring, but this was cheaper. This was cheaper and you can see every detail, right? You can see you've got this nice black line there. You've got, this also seems a bit large for a small, but besides that, it's pretty good. I mean... You can't really see it on camera. Gonna be honest with you, you can't see it on camera. But this is far better quality, what do you think? That compared with that. This feels like the type of tissue you get in camp. Okay, that is very, very well said. Now, as I said, I know these two shirts are totally different, right? You've got design here and you've just got a brand name there. But like I said, you've got companies like Supreme and you know, Levi's and other kind of companies where they go for seriously high quality like this and they put some funky designs on it. So that is kind of what you want to do. You want to merge the two because I don't remember how much this was off the top of my head, but the price will be up here on the screen. But this being cheaper than this is just unheard of, especially seeing as this comes, you know, with all of this nice packaging and this one comes in a poly bag. Yeah. Right, this one I will open soon, okay? I will open soon, I promise. It's a surprise. Now the third category is pricing. This one came in at £25.39. This is the Teespring one. The Calvin Klein one came in at £23.95, okay? And I was trying to find like for like. There were cheaper ones on the website. And the Vista Print Mystery Package came in at, was it £14.39? And that was with express shipping which, because I wanted to get it really, really quickly, but it would have been you know, an extra £1.50 or less, £1.50 less if I didn't want to do express shipping. Now, the shipping for Teespring came in at eight days, which actually isn't that bad. I thought it would take a lot longer, so I'm quite happy with that. Calvin Klein shipping came in at three days and Vista Print shipping came in at six days. So again, I'm... Obviously, the Calvin Klein shipping was the fastest, but the Teespring was eight days. It wasn't crazy. It's, it's not good, but it's not, it's not unheard of. What really baffles me is that people are willing to spend 20 pounds plus on these kind of t-shirts. And this is the whole print on demand industry, isn't it? I mean, these cost over 20 pounds, but the quality and, 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 and craftsmanship and all of that is just not there. These should not cost 20 pounds. They should not cost 25 pounds. They should cost 7.99. Eleven ninety nine. It is ridiculous how much they cost. Okay, moving on to category four, which is the customer service. Now I'm sure we're all aware Teespring's customer service is pretty much non-existent, and that's just that. Calvin Klein's customer service is actually very, very good, uh, very, very fast at responding. Likewise with Vistaprint, Vistaprint very fast at responding. You know, if there's anything wrong with this, they will send me a brand new one, no questions asked. And they're just, they're very, very good. Teespring, you've got to wait a while and then it's a bit of a battle and then eventually, you know, you might get another one in two weeks time or something. There is stuff flying off of this. Whatever. Let me tell you what I've got so far. So far, I've got these three packages. Right, I'm gonna open this one, but I've got these three packages. And to me, the whole print on demand industry is based off of expensive t-shirts that are bad quality, that take time to come, and it's really annoying. And the person that suffers the most is the end customer. The sellers, I know it's not your fault because 
There's nothing you could do. You're just going with the quality of the t-shirts they have, the quality of the printing they have, the quality of customer service they have, the quality of you know the shipping times and and, and the packaging and, and all of that. That's not that's out of your control. It's just a shame that this industry has fallen on these companies and these companies don't seem to care enough about the customers or even the sellers for that matter to to deliver quality products for these premium prices that they are charging. But before we get into that, what is in this mystery package? Well, first, I just want to quickly, you know, clarify, I wouldn't recommend anyone does this. I did it because I have a designing background and I was very, very curious, but I saw this design, which I bought, and I thought, you know what, how much would it cost for me to actually get this made myself on Vistaprint and just buy it? Just basically buy it as a one-off t-shirt. Now again, I don't recommend this because it's basically ripping off people's work and I like to kind of reward people with their creativity, which is why I buy their t-shirts. But this is definitely something people can do and I don't understand why people don't do it more. I mean, people download movies and they do all these other kind of things. So why don't people find a t-shirt they like and have it made themselves? So let's have a look at the t-shirt quality. Clearly the packaging quality is there. I made the design slightly slightly different just because I couldn't actually find that camera picture because I don't even know if that is a camera. It's just a weird thing. But this is what we've got. In terms of quality, oh, it's actually a small, so I'm happy about that. Um, it's pretty much the same design. I didn't really try very hard. I mean, that's one and that's the other. Um, I probably could have tried harder with the colors and the formatting, but literally it took me 10 minutes. In terms of t-shirt quality, this is a Russell. That means nothing to no one. <laughs> and yeah, well, that's what I have for that. But I think it's also 100% cotton. Um, it doesn't say anywhere, but it is 100% cotton, I think. Yeah, it's 100% cotton. In terms of quality compared, well, we're going to move the Calvin Klein one because that, that clearly wins. But in terms of quality with the two, the Vista print one, do you want to zoom out for a sec? And the the teespring one, well, much better neckline on the Vista print. The quality on the Vista print one is actually better. It's double stitched compared to single stitched, um, which is much better because that's not coming off. And uh, it just feels nicer. That actually, this doesn't feel, this feels nicer. Hey, you want to feel? What do you think? That's rough. It's less rough and also it's not pure white. So this is like pure white, right? It's clinically white, whereas this is, it's still white, but it's like more of an off kind of white. Anyway, look, that's just funny because my experiment kind of worked, but also didn't work because, look, I don't recommend you steal anyone's designs. That is not the point of this video. The point of this video is just to try and break apart the print on demand industry and just show you that this cost me £14.39. I did this myself in five minutes. Why did this have to cost me 25 pounds, 11 pounds more? I understand that the seller needed to have a profit margin, which is completely understandable, right? I get that, but there's 11 pounds in this. There shouldn't be 11 pounds in this. This should be 17.99 maximum. And I know I said earlier it should be 7.99, but like if we're trying to be fair to the sellers here, this should be maybe 17.99 maximum. Um, it's just you won't have the biggest profit margin because this is a much better quality t-shirt. It's a much nicer white double stitch, just so much better. So the reason I did this, like I said, was just to see the main dif major differences between doing it one off, buying from a big company. Now, I would never recommend doing this. I don't like stealing, but I this moves us swiftly on to stage five of this video, which is alternative methods to actually make money with print on demand. What if I told you there was a way to get repeat customers better customer service, controlling the shipping process, controlling the packaging process, much better product quality, and much higher profit margin. If I told you there was a way to achieve all of that, would you want to know what that way is? Because it's not using Redbubble, and it's not using Teespring, it's not using T-Chip, it's not using any of these print-on-demand companies. And don't worry, I'm not selling you some course here or anything like that. No, 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 nothing being sold here just wanted to give you some information. The way to actually achieve all of this is to start your own 
print on demand company. And no, no, I'm not talking about starting Teespring or starting the next Redbubble. I don't mean that. I mean starting your own clothing line where you can control every element of it and most importantly, the quality of the t-shirts. So you can get samples, you can see which one works best and you can go for that one. And then you can get samples of packaging, you can see which one works best and you can go for that one. And on top of all of that, you control the whole process. That is what you want to be doing. And I know that is a lot more work and that is not what most of you want to hear. But if you want to stand out from all the competition out there, the sea of people selling print on demand t-shirts, if you really, really, really want to succeed and you know create this huge company that can eventually be sold for a lot of money, this is the way forward. You would need a website like WooCommerce, custom built website, Shopify, you know, Squarespace, something like that. You would need a website where you could build your own t-shirts onto it, right? And then you would need to start buying t-shirts in bulk. I know that's risky and that costs a bit more to start up with, but you can find popular designs and you can buy them in bulk and you can launch them on your site. All of this costs quite a bit more and you obviously need money to get going. And a lot of people don't have money, which is why you get into print on demand. However, it's really good and you can check this video out here on how I went or how you can go from zero to having a, enough money to start something you could use that money to actually start a print on demand company okay and when I say print on demand I mean buying in bulk launching on a website and controlling every single element of the business I feel no one talks about this side of the business because no one is on the buyer's side and I kind of want to be on both sides. I want to be on your side, the seller's side, but I also want to be on the side of people who are actually spending their money buying your t-shirts because, well, the main reason is I don't want you to have customers that will return products or give you bad feedback or, you know, not shout good things about you. And unfortunately, that is the case here because you're selling under these companies that aren't providing a service that goes with the price point. And for the customer, they are the ones losing out big time because they are getting these shabby quality t-shirts for premium prices and that just doesn't seem fair. This is why I like this other approach where you as a seller have full control of the business and just save up for it, work towards it and eventually you could start your own t-shirt line and that's what I'm working towards. I want to at one point in my future create my own clothing line, like a proper clothing line, not print on demand, not anything like that, but actual designs. A bit like, you know what Logan Paul has done or um, John Olson has done. They've built actual proper clothing lines with decent, or Mr. Beast, for example. You think it's just crappy quality clothing, but it's actually really good quality clothing that they've done research on. They've got some samples on and they've built it like that. And that's what I want to do down the line. And that's one of the main reasons why I get put off with print on demand, just because I feel bad for the end customer who's going to receive a product they have bought from me on Teespring or on Redbubble or on Teachip or on Teasley or any of these types of platforms. So let me know in the comments down below what you think. I really wanted to put this idea out there and tell you all what I think about the print on demand industry as a whole. And I wanna hear your thoughts, what you think about the print on demand industry as a whole, and also what you think of this new idea of you know starting your own brand, starting your own Shopify store or your own website, actually selling high quality designs where you, you control the packaging. Like you could do this cool brown packaging, you could do something you could do whatever you wanted, you had full control. So let me know in the comments and hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you don't hate me too much. Like I kind of wanted to just put this out there and see what you all think. Uh, These are just my thoughts. But anyways, I will still be doing Pro on Demand videos because I know it helps so many of you. And at the end of the day, I want to just help as many people as I can on this YouTube channel. So finally, once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.